Hello, Prosper ISD, Dr. Bradley here, and I wanted to give you an update where we are just in our growth and uh, in our construction. It's obviously been a crazy year, uh, but wanted to come to you today and give you some stats of just uh, of the growth that we've experienced during the midst of COVID-19 and the pandemic. Uh, a year ago, we certainly didn't know where we would be at this time, and it's crazy to think about what's going on. But just to give you a little reference, in April of 2000. 20, we had 17,280 students in Prosper ISD, and today we have 19,680. And so as districts all across the state of Texas have lost students during COVID-19, we've grown 2,400 students. Uh, we have long been one of the fastest growing districts in the state of Texas and the nation, uh, but during this pandemic, uh, it's off the chart compared to everyone. And so while others were losing or hoping to maintain students, we've grown 2,400 students in month and in, in year over year from April to April. Uh, you know probably that in August of this year, we opened three new schools. We opened Johnson Elementary, which was elementary number 12 for us, Rushing Middle School, which was middle school number four, and then Rock Hill High School, our second high school. And so in the midst of uh, this global pandemic, we opened three schools. Uh, and uh, glad to say those went amazing. It's been awesome to see those three schools uh, in use this year and full, honestly. Uh, at this point, with so many kids back in person, those buildings are full and thriving, and, and it's been a great experience uh, to have those open. But because of the growth, you know that we have to continue to add schools every year. And in the 2019 bond, 85% of our community uh, put forth uh, uh, their support to uh, $1.3 billion worth uh, of bonds uh, to finance the growth and fund the construction that's required as we continue to grow. And so uh, I'm standing today at elementary number 14, which is Bryant Elementary in Winsong uh, development. And uh, this elementary is gonna open in August of this year. Uh, it's coming along great. Uh, it looks like, honestly, that we could have school here in a month. Uh, uh, our uh, partners, Huckabee and Associates, uh, the architect and Poe Construction have done a wonderful job out here. And uh, it's so exciting to see this school come, come into its own and, and be ready to welcome students this August. We also have Elementary 13 uh, in the Auburn Hills subdivision uh, in McKinney. And uh, that elementary is a little bit behind this one. Uh, because of the pandemic, we pushed pause on that one right before we started to see if we were going to need it. And then as I just explained to you, the growth continued to go crazy. And so uh, Elementary 13 is gonna open this August as well. If you've driven by it, it's not as far along as, as the one I'm standing in today. But uh, no doubt Reeves Elementary is going to uh, be ready on time. It's actually ahead of schedule of where Hughes Elementary was this, uh, at this time a couple of years ago. It was on a rush schedule as well. But I'm proud to report that these projects are on schedule uh, they're going to open in August, and so it's going to be exciting to welcome students to Reeves Elementary and Bryant Elementary. I also want to let you know that we are getting ready to bid uh, in, the, in the month of May and uh, hopefully award in the month of June elementary number 15, uh, which is going to uh, again start in June and was scheduled to open in August of 22, uh, just a little more than a year from now. That elementary is going to be loaded, located in the Star Trail subdivision. Uh, just a mile to the east of, of where I'm standing right now. Also bidding this summer uh, and, and hopefully being awarded in June will be high school number three. Uh, probably the one I get the most questions about, where is high school three going? Well, you might have seen the signs, but it's actually on First Street between Custer and Coit. Uh, so just south of Whitley Place uh, and just kind of northeast of Rogers Middle School is the location of high school three. Uh, we're hoping to break ground in uh, June of this year, but it will not open until August of 24. It takes about a 30 month build. The hope is we will start in June. That building will actually complete around January or February of 2024, and we will open in August of 24. And so those two projects should be starting this summer. Uh, middle School 5, not exactly sure yet. Uh, we would like to open it in August of 23, afraid it may have to wait until August of 24. And so as soon as we have uh, the uh, bond funding that we need and uh, the information correct, we will start that one as soon as possible. And then right after that is going to be required to build elementary 16, 17. It's not going to quit. We're so appreciative 
uh, of the community that saw the vision that this growth was coming and gave us the support that we needed to try to get out in front and maintain uh, the buildings that we would need for all the students that are coming. Uh, but I'm happy to report today that construction again is on budget and on schedule. If you have any questions about that, uh, please go to our website. We've, we've put a lot of information there about our projects, but certainly reach out to me if you have any questions, if I could help you with anything. We want you to have the best information, but in Prosper ISD, it changes every day. And so thank you for your continued support. Have a great day.